So let's look at these two conditions so here you can apply it cosine rule. Now the first condition is when two sides are given, two sides of the triangle are given plus the angle enclosed by them. If you check here, we have two sides of the triangle given here and an angle enclosed by them. The angle is usually attached to the A side. Whereas the second condition in which cosine will be applied is when all three sides of the triangle are given but no angle or no angles are given so yeah we have three sides of this triangle given but there is no angle given so when you have this kind of situation you apply cosine rule okay so let's go ahead and solve this question we have here first at the left it says find the length of cb for the triangle above so you're looking for this place because so that means we apply cosine cosine rule is a square equals b square plus c square minus 2 bc cos theta so that's cosine rule okay another formula for this cosine rule would be when you bring minus 2 bc cos theta to the left and bring a square to the right you have your cos theta to be b square plus c square minus a square all over 2bc okay so this is another formula for cosine rule so either way we work so for this question let's make we are looking for side okay let's label this side again very important this will be our a this will be our b and this will be our what our c all right the sides are opposite the angle so let's go ahead and plug in the values that means in this question a our side b is what seven meter our size c is what eight meter now our theta is what 83 degrees all right so we plug the values in the formula above we are looking for side a so it's going to be now you can choose to apply let's work with this first one because it will be easier so it will be a square which is what we're looking for equals uh this is equal to equals our b square will be seven square plus our c is a square minus two times seven times eight then we have cos it's a theory let me write it way we have cos it's a theory degrees when you simplify this a square will be so let me punch everything together in my calculator and see what it's going to give me so when we punch everything together a square will be 99.3506354 so to make a the solid formula you square both sides or square root both sides so this square we cancel this square root that means our a will be square root of this is square root of square root of 99.3506354 when you punch in the calculator you're going to have it to be 9.96 9.9674 you keep having we are going decimal so let's give our answer in three significant figures if you leave your answer in Anyway, significant figures. This is significant. This is significant. This is significant. Significant figures start from non-zero numbers. This seven up to five. We approximate it as one to this six. So our final answer will be nine point nine seven meter. Since we are looking for the side, All right? This will be the a size. So what will be here will be nine point nine seven meter. So this will be the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. Now let's write this and solve for this second question. Okay, so for this second question, let's label the triangle the side. We have A, B, and C. Alright, so our A is what 10 meter. Our B is 7 meter. Our C is 8 meter. So we're going to apply A square equals what? We have B square plus C square minus 2bc cos theta now we're going to make use of this other way of it which is our cos 
theta equals b square plus c square minus a square all over 2bc. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use it will help us to get the theta first because we have to find angle CAB for the triangle shown above. Okay, angle CAB means I'm looking for this angle here. Let's continue. We to get the angle is as simple as that. Let's plug in the values in this second way of doing it. So it's going to give us we have b square will be seven, so it will be cos theta equals seven square plus eight square minus ten square all over two times R B is what seven times this is two times C is eight. Okay, so when we punch this in the calculator, everything we're going to have our cos theta to be zero point one one six zero seven. All right, keep having your point this man. Let's stop at this seven. But to make it that the solid formula now you divide both sides by cos. Alright, this cos will cancel this cos here. So therefore our theta will be cos inverse of zero point one one six zero seven. So when you punch in the calculator, I'm going to have it theory point theory theory four six. All right, keep having we are calling decimal, but let's stop at this six. Now, if you have to leave your answer to one decimal place, it will be eighty theory point theory degree. Since we are looking for the angle, so that's what is going to be here. We are going to have eighty theory point theory degree here so it's as simple as that guys 